Hello everybody and welcome back to Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. In the last episode we had gotten into the Queen Bean Castle and taken on Queen Bean after her calculator had stolen the Bean Star. But Queen Bean wasn't forced to swallow a belly black worm and is really messed up so we had to go to Chocola Woods and try to find the Chocola Reserve. Wow, that was difficult to say. So anyway, we gotta head for the Chocola Woods. So let's see, Chateau de Chocolahawk is this way below. Okay, I'm gonna avoid this enemy mostly because they're gonna give me no experience. And there's not really much point in fighting them, so we gotta head over here. And these enemies should actually start giving us some problems, as it's gonna be. Now these are parabinis, they can actually do some pretty decent damage, but yeah. If you want to grind up early in the game, I recommend taking these guys on and try to take them out while they're, you know, still parabinis. Because they give you out, they give out more experience like that, but at the same time, they still don't give out much. Let's see. Okay, I need to go up there. I can't get it from the bottom. So, let's see. Yeah, here we go. We're gonna have to switch because I need Mario's abilities. Whee! Oh, hi. Travel here is permitted only for select individuals in order to guard the Chuckle Huck Woods College. Well, we got the Bean Bean brooch, though. Oh, the Bean Bean brooch. Brooch? It's brooch. The mark of the special guest, Bean Bean Castle. Very well, then. You shall permit... We shall permit you to enter these woods. Why does it just go into the ground and not, like, open slowly up? We hope you enjoy a taste of the incredibly full flavor of Chocola Cola while you're in here. Yeah, yeah cool. Thank you. For giving me... Oh, what the heck? How did Luigi t get hit with that? Luigi, get up! You gotta get up! Thank you! Boom! You can't do enough damage to him. Oh well, at least I can get him on the counter attack. Or just barely miss, apparently. That's gonna not be annoying. Come on, man. Get him with the hammer. I gotta be. I gotta watch it. How did that not take him out? It really should have, because I like getting these counter. these first strikes in, but most of the time it should just take these enemies out because of my levels. And they're. I guess weak. Not really weakness, but yeah. Well, we have made it to. Let's see. Brewing Chocola, step one. The main ingredient is Chocola Cola is Chocola fruit, which grows only in Chocola Huck Woods. Step two. Brewing Chocola Cola, step two. Place one Chocola fruit in a barrel that's been filled to the brim with savory syrup. Brewing Chocola Cola, step three. Tell funny jokes to the fruit until it lasts, releasing soda bubbles deep within the brew. Step four. Bear in mind that the quality of both the fruit and the jokes will affect the brewing process. Father of Chocola Cola, first generation chateau owner Bubbles. Hmm. Oh, and here we have a bit of a, a maze that we gotta deal with. So let's go ahead. You can kind of see where they are, but you also gotta be like very careful because this does get a bit confusing. I recommend, since, well, I don't even know the path myself all that well, is kind of just hold down a button. And while you're under there, eventually you'll see, like, where you're headed off to. So, there we go. Uh, no? Why are you being confusing right now, game? That cuts my right off. Try going back down this way. Ooh, okay, am I? There we go found something. Okay, there should be some way around here. I think. Going this way, maybe? Here. You can kind of see, like, where the paths are because of the... I don't know how well you guys might be able to see it, but you'll notice, like, where it can cut you off and where you can't go through. If you're just paying, like, very close attention, but at the same time, it's still not very easy to get through here, especially when you're playing it on the Game Boy screen, and what the heck? Where'd Luigi go? No, who was that? Got a high jump. How was he able to make it like that? I'm the super jump. I'm the stars of super jumps. Let's see. I don't think there's anything up here, but I still want to check just to make sure. 
being thorough never hurt anybody. So never let anyone tell you otherwise. Got it. Also, sorry for a little le less talkative. I... Oh, boo, blast, criminy, the famous shadow of thief, Popple, has been caught in full sight. Ah, cripes, you think you're ready, do you? Well, nobody's more ready than me. See, I'll show you. Then why you continue running away? Rookie, rookie, shake a leg. Yes, boss. Oh, hey, look. Okay, rookie, it's your turn. See, I'm going to squash those red and green drips there. Yes, boss. Red and green. I feel like I know these from somewhere. Weird. What, rookie? Are you saying you wanna you're acquainted with these two pukalu palukas? Yeah, something about them feels real familiar. Makes me feel real mad. Quit your babbling, you. You two ugly mugs came here for the same reason as us. You want the fate of Chicago Reserve. Boo! Boo, I say! You really think you could beat me to the punch? Well open up those ears, punks. I popple shadow teeth flincher of the world's riches. You bet you that I get to the Chicola Reserve first. Rookie, go to it! So yeah, now we're fighting Popple and Rookie. Now, Popple has only got 110 HP, while Rookie has 120. Though, I do recommend going after Rookie slash Bowser first, mostly because if you defeat him, you'll take out... Well, Popple will pretty much just give up, is what happens. But, yeah. How dare you guys mess with the great Popple? You also need to be careful because... Ow! Well, Bowser can throw hammers, and Popple will try and steal your items if he gets too close to you. Dang it. Dang it. Ah, he got a mushroom for me. I'll be taking that. See? And if he takes your items, he can use them in battle. So you want to be pretty careful about that. So just watch out and try to hit him so he doesn't grab him. And Popple's down. Ow. But we shouldn't have too much trouble taking out Rookie, at least. Which is always... Boom! Though, to be fair, I have no idea if you get more experience. For some reason, fighting these guys makes my gut flare up. Something fierce. Wah! Whoa! That was spicy. Well, uh, you probably should be going down after this last pro deck, so I'm not really worried about the fact that you can now spit fire. Yep. And you get to explode gloriously. Ooh, we got one up mushroom. And no level up. G but hack! Rookie, you bloated idiot! You, you who took you in when you were dazed and lost in the mountain? Me, you worthless fireman! I'm so ashamed. Meh, I don't care. See, we're fine as long as we get to the Chicola Reserve. Let's not mess with these two knuckleheads. We'll scream and hurry on ahead. Um, okay. Rudeness. I thought there was something around here, but I guess I could be mistaken and it might be the next area. But yeah, we're going to be fighting them a bit more as time goes on. Let's see, what's over here? Like continues on, but there's stuff in here that we could deal with for right now. Can't really do anything with that block over there. Oh, hello. Hmm? I have been saved, rescued more. The Atlas, hello. I am the maitre of this chateau. Gork, that is me. And moi, I am the petit brother of Cork. My name is Iskask. We were stuffed into the barrels by these two bizarre characters. Are you the ones who saved us? Oh, 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 oh. To get straight to the point, the two attacked us and are after the chocolate reserve that lies in these woods. It was you two after these chocolate reserves as well. Uh, oh, me, the problem is whether or not that legendary sort of even truly exists. Why, even the two of us have never seen or nor drunk the fame drinks the Chocolate Reserve. Beyond Chocolate Woods is a sanctuary no one can touch us. But getting in there is not easy. Hmm, what? Well, you can stomp on the enemies and hammer rocks to little beetles. To make paths? Oh, a wee! Hmm, 
perhaps Vua could get through the world, but not with these moves alone. Kask, perhaps with said wonderful hammer. Hmm, we, oui, très bien, mon frère, indeed, little old moi was thinking the exact same thing. Mm hmm, pardon moi. Okay, they, hello. After having a titty and a titty, we more free. Is that a teat and a teat? I have no idea. We more free. Just a moment ago, we have decided to thank Wolf for helping us. We, we have decided to teach you two hammer techniques. These are techniques that have been perfected and refined and passed down air in the chateaus. If you master these, they should help you in your bon voyage in the world. Do you wish to master hammer techniques? Yes. First, Monsieur Green, give me your hammer. Hmm, oui, I see you with this hammer. First, press the L button and choose your hammer. Then, press the B button to swing. It, voila, is the secret hammer that me. Swing the hammer, lie and watch it plunge us down with the joy of vivir of the woods. Anyone hit with such a technique will become micro size, we? Try, try beat it. Anyone this size will feel like a mouse, and you could go on tiny holes for micro adventures. To return to normal, just swing the hammer again in a superb whack the more. Alice, go try it. Oh, incredible! To think you could press the joy of the of the woods in just the first shot. Uh, Alors, perhaps you should try to put them back to normal. Excellent, magnifique! Wolves could be a genius. Ah, now, Monsieur Red, give me your hammer this day. Hmm. Switch. Press start and switch position. Then, press the ear button to select your hammer. Then, press the B button to swing it. Ah, this is the ultimate hammer technique. Tribian born, crashing down with the gust of wind with the power of the earth. Whoever is struck by this hammer will be completely buried in the, and hidden in the, the earth. Of course, in this state, moving with the control pad is possible. One feels like a mole, while both can even sneak under fences for micro adventures. Come back above ground, just press the A button. Alas, go try. Ah, Bon! The power of the earth crashes down with a burst of wind! That was perfect! Ali, just press the A button to pop out of the grounds again. Fantastic! Now it is time to put these new hammer techniques to the test. Use these techniques you learned and get to chocolate goblets you see in the next do room door. The two colors of which I speak of are two of the Beaming Kingdom's greatest treasure. The sparkling glass is brilliant. It's the perfect reward for you who have gained these techniques. So, Monsieurs, procure these two goblets. Yeah. Well, I don't believe they're in here. I believe they're over... Monsieurs, go through the room with the right. Oh, I gotta go over here. Hmm. This is where you got the goblets. Oh wait, I'm still like... Uh, just let me in! You got the red goblet. It's beauty sparkles in your eyes. Well, yeah. I need to switch Mario back. And switch again. And then just flatten Luigi. Just send him under the gate. Okay, there we go. Gotta do everything. Yeah, Mario. Why does Mario get to come for Luigi's adventure? Luigi just jumps up and friggin' grabs it while Mario's gotta come in and, you know, assist. That was not the right button. Give us the green goblet. It's pretty as glitters in your eyes. Still, the why? Why does Mario need to come on Luigi's adventure to help him get it? You got the red goblet and the green goblet? Monsters, you are amazing. Incroyable! There is nothing left for us to teach you. You have mastered the hammer techniques perfectly. 
Pero mas eu sei que eu tenho que fazer uma coisa e eu tenho que fazer uma reserva. Cool. E finalmente, com agora ter uma específica habilidade que nós just got from them, um of them will allow us to do something quite hilarious, in my opinion. But I'll save that for another time, because it's not really important for the story, or well, any part of the game for that matter. And the other one is actually important, but not to the story, just kind of to the game. So if we switch and hammer Luigi into the ground over these spots, and have us bowed up, we can actually get beans. We just got a chuckle bean there. And depending on which one you're after, you could get different ones. Which is actually pretty cool. So yeah. But now that we're in Chuckle Squids, and oh, we've got a new enemy to deal with. Now these are, I should go with the hammer attack. These are pest nuts. I recommend taking it on them right now is because there are ones that could be very special and give off a lot of experience. I don't think I'm gonna get one though. By the looks of it, the answer is no. Ow. Can I please take you out? Okay, let me see. Maybe, and then Luigi could go after him, but I don't think I'm gonna get what I want. Or just not at all. Let's see. Jump. That was Mario, not Luigi. Dang it. Yeah, I'm not. I didn't get it. Dang it. Some of you probably already know what I'm talking about, and others are probably just like, what is he talking about? Ooh, Luigi's leveling up. Okay, for Luigi, I'm not gonna go with speed, I'm gonna go with power again, mostly because I think that's the best thing. Oh, got that three bonus, sweet. Now some of you might be questioning why I'm only upgrading my power, but, you know, that's just how I do it. That's how I like to do it. And that's just me. I just like being able to like over completely overpower my enemies without a care in the world. Okay, why are you defending me so well against my hammer attack? <gasps> okay, this is what I was talking about. Don't run away! Oh. Well, for those of you do who don't know, that was a gold beanie. They have very high speed so they can run easily, but they also give off a crap ton of experience for this point in the game. Eventually, it kind of just wears itself out, so you could grind off them for a while, but ugh, they're hard to pin down, which is why they're so rare. So if you ever manage to get one, take it out as fast as possible, because they do have, they have very high health, as well as high speed, so managing to get them is actually not that easy. So you gotta be careful about that. Dear. Nope, not gonna break. Go after this one. Well. No, don't hit me. Okay, take him out. Take you out with the power of my counter right axe. Okay, this should pop him open. And we don't get a gold beanie. We just get sadness. That's all we get. Hey, Mario's level 13 now, too. Probably gonna upgrade speed, not speed, uh, power for Mario as well, because Luigi is actually more powerful than him at the current moment. Got a one. Nice. Luigi gets the big bonus, and then I get the little, little crappy thing. Okay, we need to switch. Send Luigi under. Mostly just so I can hit the gate. Grab the Mario, switch back, and I jump up. So then we can continue on. Hmm. Well, we do have more that we can do in the Chicola Woods, but for now, mostly because I'm running short on time, is I am going to have to cut this episode short. So I am sorry, everybody. But we will continue on in the next episode to continue through the Chicola Reserve. So I will see you guys in the next episode where we continue and see if we can't find the Chocolate Reserve in the back of Chuckle Hut Woods. So I will see you guys then. Later. And thank you for watching that video. This is kind of something I want to try as a little bit of an end card thing, but yeah. So thank you guys for watching and please like and subscribe whatever the videos and comment down below to let me know what you guys think and if there's any way I can improve. I hope you guys will stay tuned for the next ones and I will see you guys then. 
We'll have the next episode up in the next two days, so I hope you guys will stay tuned for that. See you later.